Good morning. Good morning. I... Man, this starts right off. Me, 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 me. I, 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 I. I, I, I. Um, the video from yesterday, I thought it uploaded when I was driving and it didn't. So, apologies. I got it done late, but... It was like mostly to make sure I didn't skip a beat. Um, I just changed this video resolution. I upped it. I don't know if it makes a difference. You can, now you can see my my goofy face in a higher resolution. And for that, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, there's so many other things that need to get done instead of mental... Oh, man, mental health. Although, that should be first. Because what is that? But the other shit's affecting my mental health. I, there's so much cleaning to get done. And there's just no time. There's so much meditation to do. There's just no time. There's fitness and exercise and physical health. But yet, there's just not enough time. There's work and financial health that you need to work on there's not enough time i'm sitting here talking to camera for fucking a few minutes but like what's a few minutes at the end of the day i was gonna drink my coffee and dilly dally anyways until the caffeine kicks in jesus mary joseph I have been productive. There is that. <clears throat> Got my eight hours sleep. It's like typical morning routine of meditation and stretching and breath holding, all that jazz, the cold shower, and then it's on the phone with the insurance agent for my car. And of course, one wheel. It's interesting. One wheel gets damaged. Insurance company won't replace all four wheels, which would be the proper thing to do because, you know, you can't get full tread on, like, half tread. Like, that's just a good way to fuck up all your steering. So they said no, but they'll give me some OEM rim or something. I don't know. But it's funny because, like, if you have a roof on your house and a shingle goes missing because of a storm, you can get it replaced because well, you can't just, like, just one would devalue your car. Like, I'm not saying this right. If you only replace that one shingle, that devalues your entire roof. Because now you have to ruin some, like, peeling up the shingles will break the seals. And it takes three to five gallons of water before you start to see a leak. But as soon as you break the seal, your roof is leaking. And it's leaking into your walls, and it's leaking into the wood. It's creating water damage, and over time, ta-da, black mold, which is always awesome. There are other more fun types of fungi. Black mold ain't one of them. Although, I'm curious how the, how the process of figuring out penicillin went. Although I'm not curious enough to look it up on this device in front of me that will give me every single answer I need when it comes to stuff like that. I'm already like full cup of coffee in it's just nothing's working I've set up one two three four five six little post-it notes in front of me for people that need appointments for solar one of them needs to get me their bill still get this I mean <clears throat> If you're paying over $200 a month for an electric bill, it's 
it's already out of control and it's only going to get worse, right? I can explain that to you in deeper context, reach out to me, etc. It's my job. It's what I've been doing for the past almost three years. But <laughs> this person had a $1,500 electric bill. Like, holy shit, how is this not a priority to get some panels up on your house? I don't know how I'm the one chasing them. <laughs> I get it, we're all busy. I get it, I get it, I get it. And I know there are other things that are priority, but you have options. You do, I assure you. <laughs> one of them shouldn't be paying a $1,500 electric bill. Oh my god. This person paid over 200 It's too much. This person's paying over 300 and something dollars. This person paid $800. I don't like the look of them. Do you like the look of your $800 electric bill? Jesus. It's like, the argument for that is like, I don't think anyone liked the telephone poles when they first went up, but I guarantee we never even look at them. I do, but I it's only because I'm trying to find transformers. I don't think most of us do, right? Another argument would be like, yeah, you like to sit out by your window and stare out at, you know, the people going by or the nice pretty trees or you go in the backyard and you with your significant other and you guys are talking and staring at each other or are you staring at your roof? Someone please tell me the last time they just like stared at their roof. You must be a roofer. Uh, this person was paying over $450. This person was paying about $350. I just don't, I don't get it. I don't, I don't get it. I, I would at least listen. At least get an appointment. I don't. What do I know? I don't know. Man, this is too professional of a coffee with me. There should be some more insanity. I'm just drinking coffee and nothing's happening. I'm like, I feel like I'm ready for a nap. Why? What is this? What am I doing? What am I doing? What are you doing? Oh, there's shit to get done. Um, just the longer this goes, the more that disappears, right? And it just goes away. Everything gets cleaned by itself. I understand why people get a cleaning lady now. How, how sexist. But it usually is a cleaning lady. I don't think I've seen a cleaning guy. I'm sure they're out there, but I really haven't seen it. So I understand why people get a cleaning professional that comes to their house once a week or once every other week. I get it. Shit's overwhelming. It's easier enough to just pay you a couple bucks and be like, peace, I'm done. All right, we're wrapping up to eight minutes. I am grateful that I was able to sit here and do this as opposed to on the road. But I feel I'll get better at managing that, right? Right? Smile. Oh, I'm grateful that I had coffee and I didn't have to pay an arm and a leg for it. It's already there. I made it. It's hot. It's fresh. I'm grateful that the sun is out again. I'm grateful that I have the opportunity to flip on a camera and express myself and just feel better. I don't know why. It just does. It works. I don't know why. But I'm feeling good, and I hope you are too. And I guarantee if you're watching this and one of the few people that have talked to me, I'm, you are doing better than a lot of the people out there. Mental health is a struggle. So stay on top of it. Put a smile on your face. 
count your blessings. You're in a good spot. Until next time. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I'll pester you tomorrow.